Hi, welcome to my channel, Raven's Tarot Boudoir. This evening I'm reading for Leo. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise and Venus sign. Cross watchers, you're welcome here as well. This is going to be for the end of July towards the end of August, possibly beginning of September. But this will just resonate ha as and when it resonates, if I'm quite honest. I, I, I upload them when I upload them and put on the time frame. But obviously there's things from the past that affect your present and then there's also energies from the future that you're not aware of or can't see and that's why tarot's good at delving into those energies. So, Leo, July, August, 2023. So, karmic debts, Leo. And a lot of you might not understand what that means, but that's repercussions of things that have happened in you know many 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 moons ago and sometimes there are things that are quite innocent that you don't even realize have happened or it could be an individual that you're extremely close with who has karmic debts but that's coming to an end now a lot of you have been feeling maybe possibly quite depressed quite down just feeling like something's off and you've not not you've not been able to put your finger on what it is or why and you keep asking yourself, is it because I'm bored? Am I stuck in my life? Am I, you know, it almost feels like you're needing some sort of excitement. I mean, you are a Leo anyways. So, but it, it's it's this karmic debt. It's it's finishing out. It's, it's ending. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of things ending in your life that may come of it as a shock or a relief. But this new moon that's coming up, this is like, a, it's regenerating. There's a regeneration going on in your life, a cycle. Everything goes through cycles and your life is cycling right now. And as I say, things could turn around into a situation that could either be shocking, it could be relieving. You might not know how to deal with it or how to cope, but you will be fine. But these cards are already affirming what I'm saying. So we have got the situation at hand. We just pull some more cards. Wow. So we have got the Four of Cups, Water Sign Energy, and the Page of Wands. I don't know why, but that Page of Wands feels like spirit to me. I feel like they're going to bring a message. We'll just get some more cards, Leo. Please do not click off. Just bear with me. I'm doing a new way of shuffling because I've been getting, I don't know, better readings. So just bear with me. Oh, got some reversals. That's fine. Right, okay. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands reversed. Your energy, fire sign energy. Could be dealing with another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the first card we've got is the Four of Cups. And this is exactly what I was speaking about. Are you feeling bored? bored shitless your job's boring your life's boring it's sort of like everything's the same and that doesn't necessarily mean you, your life's bad it's just everything's flowing but not not in a way that's exciting for a leo it's like like it depicts in this it's like a a little stream and there's a pool of water that you're daydreaming into it feels like you're just spending a lot of time daydreaming trying to to figure out a way of maybe, I don't know, getting the children looked after or getting some time off work, time away from a partner. You're just, you're doing a lot of daydreaming. And a lot of you, I feel like you're, you're panicking that your life's been rushed away from you. Like time, there's not enough time and you're getting older and you're sort of panicking that you wish you'd done more, studied more or... This card is saying that you've got more than enough time. You're never too old to try something new. And there's definitely some excitement that's needed in your life right now because you're just ruminating about things. You're just stuck. And again, this could be in a relationship. It's any type of situationship that's going on in your life. And as you know, I always clarify. Now, the second card, because this is a situation at hand, this is the message from Spirit and it's the page of wands. And he's literally looks like he's screaming across hello hey 
it's time to take some you know it's not it's not the fall card but it's young in nature so it's like you need to take a risk obviously think about what you're doing be wise but make that bold move leo put your thinking cap on this is also depicting the sun energy so again that's all part of your sign this could be thinking about a holiday or just needing that time in the sun could be just you know drinking with friends going on holiday it's just about getting outside and getting the brain stimulated this is what's needed stimulation it feels like there's lack of stimulation in something someone's also going to be coming in with a message trying to get your attention communicating and there's animals as well there's animals around maybe you've got a a love or a passion for animals so maybe there's something you could do in your spare time volunteering with animals um sorry i'm just trying to get all the different messages out that these readings mean and i know right now again you most probably sat really bored with this reading thinking it's not resonating but just give me time to get through it because you know i pick out different things as i'm stood looking at the cards some of you may be as some of you may be <laughs> thinking about a younger lover or someone who's not childish i don't want to say childish but young in nature there's someone young in nature um a risk a risk taker this is somebody who is maybe a little bit dairy they're wanting to bring some excitement into your life. And again, you're possibly feeling scared to take that dip into the water, to take that risk. But this person literally means no harm. This individual does not want to bring anything into your life that's going to cause chaos or disruption. This just feels like a genuine childlike nature. And they're going to try and get your attention. Now... King of Wands reversed. I feel like this could be a partner, an ex-partner. Someone is bringing some trouble into your life. And again, maybe this is why you feel stuck. It's somebody who's quite manipulative. They like to play mind games. They've got, you know, quite a volatile temper. And you could be feeling scared to step out because this, you're so used to being kept in line by this individual. No, you can't wear that. No, you can't speak to them. No, you can't go there. But then gives you manipulative reasons why and tries to make you believe that they're in the right. You know, my way of thinking's better. I know this and I know, you know, they're a, a control freak. It feels like a control freak. And the, the, the outcome of this situation is the high priestess reversed. <sighs> You already know what's going to happen if you stay in an unhappy situation. It's never going to get happier. It's never going to get better. You are literally on borrowed time, walking on eggshells, trying to avoid the next catastrophe or disaster or argument with this person. There's no happiness here. And that's why you're bored. And there's someone around who is breathing life into yours. It's like a breath of fresh air. And this individual may not like you being around that person because they're so fun and flirtatious and just just overall happy. It's the four of cups, please, spirit. Wow. Okay. You see, this is where it gets real heavy. Yeah, you could be dealing with another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Pisces, Scorpio. There's... there's there's not a great deal of emotion, I'm not going to lie. If you are in a shit situation, I don't know why you're staying there. There's there's, there's obviously, you know, you know your reasons, but... Is this King of Wands reversed? Wow. High Priestess reversed. Excuse my shuffling, guys. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we've got that Ace of Wands again. You need to break free. You do need to break free. You need to take a chance. There's something 
it, this could be an idea. You've had an idea about something and you've got one person supporting it and trying to encourage you and the next putting a damper on your dreams. With this death card over this four of cups, you're in a situation that could literally mentally kill you. It will be the death of what's left of your personality and what life is left. It's almost like somebody can see the life being drained from your eyes. And that's not a Leo. Because you've come out here at the bottom over this high priestess, we'll get to that. But this is the death. Now this three of coins is indicating you, if you take a risk, if you take a leap of faith, there's a skill. There's a skill, a craft, there's something that you're very talented at, very good at. And it could actually bring in some finances for you as well if, if you was to, you know, really put your head into the game. Because this is talking about finances. And this is what's trying to come in. But this individual on this side is just wanting you to have no dreams, no hope, no aspirations. They just want you to be a dog's body to them. Just do as you're told. Eat, sleep, shit, shower, repeat. And it's all done under this individual's watch. The star reversed over this King of Wands reverse. This individual does not want you to be independent. They want you to be solely independent on them. It's a dead end. It is a complete dead end. Lazy, obnoxious, misogynistic, just greedy. And there's not only have they stolen your life, they've done this before. And they've learned, this is a very, very, very manipulative person. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Just an extremely manipulative, greedy, jealous person. Now, the strength over the High Priestess is saying you can overcome this. It's difficult. It's not as easy as I'm making it out to be. It will be a long road, but you will 100% get there. And with this Ten of Wands reverse on the bottom of this deck, it's saying it's not going to be as hard as it's been the last few months or years it will get easier and you've by breaking free you'll actually surprise yourself how much strength you've got because this person's not going to be able to keep draining you draining you of your finances your time money eh, i just said that emotion ten of swords reversed judgment reversed there is karmic debt and it's paid. That's what that judgment reversed is. There may be some residual karmic energy, but the quicker you break away from this situation, the quicker it's paid. It's not your debt to be paid, it's theirs. But, you know, it's like that saying, we move. You've just got to get away from it. Yeah, magician. So we've got the Ten of Swords reversed. I don't think this person can hurt you any more than they already have. There may be some shocking re revelations that come out, things that they say about you, you know, to people. And it's still going to hurt, but it's not going to hurt as much as when you was in this situation, dealing with this every day. This is a hurt where you can have a bite back and say, well, there's this, this and this about that person that you didn't know. Or you can just say, like, you know, they're just saying all these things because we're not together anymore. I'm not in that situation anymore. But you will get over it and, and the karmic debts will be paid. Now, the magician, there's there's two two significant things with this card. This is the sign of the Aries, but it's saying you're a very, very clever person. You are very, very talented at something and you've possibly got everything you need to maybe start a business or move out on your own or put a plan into action on getting a new life for yourself. But also, this individual is going to try every manipulation tactic in the book. And it possibly worked for you before. You know, that's how they've managed to keep a hold of you. But this time, the rose-tinted glasses are off. They're off. Right, my channel is for 18s and over, and it is because of these cards. Can I have a few more cards for this Leo reading, please? A few more cards for this Leo reading. Oh, we've got so many that want to fall out. This is the sex tarot. Um, and this just lets me have a look at a person's appetite, shall we say, or the devious side of, to them.
<laughs> or maybe this person is like sexless. Three of Pentacles reverse. Let me get another one. Why have we got the Three of Coins reverse? There we go. The Devil. So this individual did possibly not like to use sex to get what they want, but you know, they could have been possibly really overly complimentative and felt that that was like a really high standard because I give my partner compliments every day about the way they look and their appearance. But it's all the while so they can go chasing their dream and keeping you stuck. So they're going to give you, you know, a few breadcrumbs. I'm going to throw a few compliments their way just to make it look like I'm this real high and mighty guy. And it's it's breadcrumbs. It's just breadcrumbing you to keep you in the situation you're in. So they can be like, oh, you know, I give her compliments all the time. I take her for a cheap shit meal every now and again. All the while, they're chasing their dream. They're doing what they need to do, keeping you stuck. But it's quite funny, actually, because this person really isn't as good as they think they are in bed. And they've been making you believe for such a long time that they're this amazing, amazing person in bed. When all the while, they're nothing. They're not, they may have been in the beginning, but it just got same. It just got samey. There's nothing passionate about it. In fact, it, it could almost feel like this person makes your skin crawl and you're more, you're wanting to be more focused on being a mother and taking care of your surroundings. And because of this individual's behavior, you're just not attracted to them anymore. The attraction just isn't there. And you would rather rub your vagina along a glass plated footpath and get back into bed with this individual. Oh dear me. But they are very sneaky, very manipulative. This could be somebody who causes arguments to split up just so they can go and have a, a, a fun time somewhere else and have no guilt, feel like they've done nothing wrong because they're the one, you know, you're the one that wanted the break. So it gives them a free ticket to go and do as they please. Now we've got the talent card. Now I said, didn't I, there was something that you're very good at that has just been put on the back burner. It's asking you to share your talent with others and to keep practicing it because practice makes perfect, but it's time to shine. And it's also for some of you, it could be signing up with a talent agency. Because again, it could be acting, singing, there's something that you're very, very good at. But it's it's talking about just doing something that'll make, make your heart sing. Now we've got financial health. So this could be you or the individual you're dealing with, but it's saying to just stop your extravagance, seek some professional help. Again, this could be about leaving the situation as well. Money that's paid off, again, the karmic debts. By getting out of this situation, the karmic debts paid. And also expect a windfall. Um, someone could be sort of owing you money. And it's saying just have faith because when it's time to go, or when it's time to set up this business, your spirit team are going to have your back. They're going to make sure the money's there available for you for this new start. And it could actually be for both. Could be for you leaving or buying them out of a, a property or the money to get another property, but also to start up a new business or just that little step to, to give you a forward push that you're going to be okay and you don't need this individual. You didn't need them all along. And if anything, you're going to see just how much they needed you because their life is going to fucking fall apart, Leo. I can promise you that. Fall apart. I'll leave the reading there. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Keep your kitchen much happy by giving me a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon.